Well, our coral is here. So you can see, we got a... Next up, we've got this beautiful frag of... What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another awesome video from today's title and thumbnail. You could already guess that it is going to be an absolute banger. We spent a lot of money in today's video. We couldn't say no. Um... We've got amazing, amazing corals coming in from Top Shelf, you guys. I know I've been doing a lot of stuff with Top Shelf, but every time I do something with Top Shelf, it always becomes a banger. So, did this kind of for you guys, and of course, for my personal pleasure, because we needed to make that 90 gallon something special. Today's video, we are making that 90 gallon something special. The 90 gallon is finally, finally losing all of its algae. We are transitioning to a very nice and clear tank. Really quick, before we get into unboxing these amazing corals, let me give you guys some updates around the house. Show you guys the pectinatas. We have a banana pectinata, a pied pectinata, still no names. The banana is so stinking sweet. The pied pectinata, he's a little flighty. He's not like the chillest little guy ever, but this one, seriously, he's like, he is my, my little friend. That is, uh, he is gonna be amazing growing up. I could already tell that he's gonna be a very, very tame iguana, but, a little update on those guys. Everybody's growing well. Everybody is doing great around the house. Chameleons, great. Here is a nice look at that little Goku baby. Our little alpha male growing very, very nice. Now that I've given you guys some updates, let's get right in to the coral. You guys all know my good buddy Jed. He is the sales manager over there at Top Shelf. You guys, he is the one that usually gives us the nice tour of the farm, picks out all the corals for us. You guys gotta know my buddy Jed. Well, I'm gonna show you guys his point of view of being at the farm, picking out some of these corals, giving you guys a little explanation of what he has picked out for me. So let's run that. Big shout out to Jed. Make sure you guys go and give him some love down below on his channel. I'll leave it right here. Make sure you guys go and check him out. Make sure you guys go and subscribe to my buddy over there. Huge shout out to Jed. Can't thank you enough, brother. Let's go run the clips of that. So I just picked out Geo, a killer SPS pack. He's been begging for these pieces. So I picked it out for him. We got about dozen pieces that I'll show to you guys. So you can see we got a bunch over here. There's Cherry Bomb, The Fuzz, Rainbow Sherbert, Daydream, Bubblegum Digi, Oregon Tort, Double Trouble Stylo, Pink Cyphastria, The Branching. So for Geo, it's really good because you know, they're more beginner acros, so it's gonna help him, you know, kind of make sure the tank's good for SPS so we can try a lot harder stuff down the road. But this stuff is definitely good for beginners. We've been growing it for years. All of them had very unique color schemes. Oregon Tort, just a straight blue, you know, big, thick, round branches. Cherry Bomb's gonna get really nice red polyps on it. It can get really fuzzy, as well as the Fuzz, which is one of them as well, which will have a lot thinner polyps. There's a bunch of other ones in there, but definitely a really cool pack. How exciting is that? I mean, look at those pieces, you guys. I cannot wait to finally unbox those pieces, get them inside of my 90 gallon, we're officially turning this 90 gallon into something special, something spectacular. Let's do it. Can't thank you guys enough. Big shout out to Top Shelf Aquatics. You guys make sure you guys go and subscribe to them. They just launched like a little studio inside of the store. So they'll be doing product reviews and all that kind of fun stuff on their YouTube channel. So that is Top Shelf Aquatics. Gonna leave that down below as well. So here we are standing in front of the 90 gallon Red Sea Reefer. You guys remember our last little trip to Top Shelf, me, Paul, and Danny, we went out there and bought a bunch of coral, the rainbow chalice, we've got the purple stylophora, we've got so many different things, the Laffy Taffy Ganapora. There were so many corals that we picked out that day. Like I said, we do have some hair algae going on right here, but that is going to be cleaned up no problem. We've got our forest fire digitata right up there, hanging out right there. Got that piece from Tommy. And then you guys, we've got our little sunburst monopora cap in the back. And you guys, right here is an encrusting monopora. This is called the Mystic Sunset, I wanna say. I don't really know. Too many names, man, it is crazy. But that is the Mystic Sunset. We also got that from Top Shelf. The tank is coming along. I mean, the algae is not disgusting anymore. The whole sand used to be brown and full of that nasty, nasty algae. So we are very grateful and very happy that all that nasty stuff has gone away. And now we are left with a very beautiful crystal clear fish tank. Let's get these corals unboxed. 
Let's get him inside of the tank. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you guys smash those notification bells so you don't miss anything like this whenever I drop. Let's get these corals unboxed. You guys should know this by now. I do need an orange lens so you guys can see the true colors of all these corals going inside of my fish tank. So we've got this 20 gallon full of the coral that we got at our last top shelf trip. We've got the rainbow chalice in there. We've got the Laffy Taffy Ghani. We've got the PC rainbow acro. We have got, I think it's like the purple milk style of Fora. I don't know what it's called exactly. We got the, I wanna say the meteor shower, Sephastria. We have the lunar landing, Leptospirosis. Uh, can't say the name, all right? I just know it's called a lepto. Here, we have got that lunar landing lepto. A very very bright coloration on that one super beautiful like orange yellow hues to that pink We've got the Laffy Taffy Ganapora hanging out right there can't see that that well And then my absolute favorite you guys we've got the rainbow chalice down there We got the stylophora and the PC rainbow up top The little tank is looking great everybody everything is thriving everything is happy we're having another algae bloom in this tank, so we are going to be moving all these corals pretty soon. Well, our coral is here. She is at the door. Let's go and grab this box. Cannot tell you guys how excited I am to unbox all these corals. <laughs> Top shelf aquatics, baby. Oh, and look what else came. We'll give you guys another little hint of what we got going on, you guys. This is, you see that screen, that mesh? That can only mean one thing and one thing only. You guys probably guessed it. Big cage upgrade coming soon. Big cage build coming soon. Do not want to miss it, you guys. Make sure you guys have those notification bells smashed. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. We've got our massive top shelf box. That can only mean one thing, that there is a lot of coral inside. So let's get this box fully opened up. Let's see how these corals are looking. Get him acclimated and get him inside of this wonderful tank. Whew. Whew. This is slice number two, ladies and gentlemen. Slice number three to be the winner. No time for technical no time for technical difficulties right now, right? We have one bird's nest mini colony, one double trouble stylo, one bubblegum digitata. A Dippin' Dots, Cherry Bomb, The Fuzz, Organ Tort, Rainbow Sherbert, Daydream, and Pink Branch and Cephastria. They named this one the Geo Influencer SPS Pack. Jed, thank you so much. Cannot thank you guys enough over at Top Shelf. Here we got uh, just like some tips. This is the moment of truth, you guys. We are taking the lid off of the box. Ah! Got some little cold packs in there. Oh my. Yeah, they gave me a nice, nice colony of this bird's nest. This green is bird's nest that they gave me is, you, this is gonna be insane. You, This is just gonna be, look at that colony that they gave me. Let's get these guys floating. So we're gonna just, it's a perfect spot to unbox these corals, am I right? What else do we got inside of this goodie box? Here is a beautiful frag. This is the pink branching Cephastria. Super, super beautiful piece. Very pink. Plop that one right up inside of the fish tank. This is truthfully one of my favorite pieces that I cannot wait to, I cannot wait to see this thing. This is, uh, this is called the Fuzz Acropora. Super beautiful, super fuzzy already. You guys can see some really crazy pops sticking out of that. Of course, I'm gonna give you guys a better look at everything once it is out of the bag, once everything is acclimated, of course. So, let's put the fuzz in. We have got a beautiful, beautiful piece of Daydream. What do we got here? What do we have here? We have our Rainbow Sherbert. Absolutely beautiful, nice chunky frag. Nice, nice chunky frag. That is what we like to see. So that is the TSA Rainbow Sherbert. Here we've got a Double Trouble Stylophora. We've got our Cherry Bomb. This one I'm super excited about. Here we got our Bubblegum Digitata. Unfortunately, this guy looked like looks like he broke off of his frag, his little frag plug. But that is A-OK -okay because we could always just re-glue it, I'm pretty sure, but that is a nice chunky piece of Bubblegum Digi. Give you guys a better look because it's hard to see inside of this bag with the way it is. 
That is a nice chunk of it though. Super, super nice piece. The Oregon Blue Tort. Now, if you guys are uh, familiar with the reef industry, you guys should know this. This is an OG piece of coral. This is an acropora that just grows a really deep blue color. We are all set, you guys. That is all of the corals that we just unboxed. Here is to a very long process that we're all gonna go through. We've got our little viewing container that I'm gonna show you guys the frags in. Let's fill that up with some water. We've got now our little station over here. Our little gluing station. So I know this looks like a very ugly piece of stick or rock right now, but this is a double treble stylophora. We've got like a purple one and a green one. These are gonna intertwine with each other as they grow. We've got our glue on. Let's uh, let's get this bad boy in the tank. I have no idea where we're gonna quite go with this guy just yet. Let's uh, should we, uh, I'm just gonna put this guy up top, honestly. I'm gonna try. See how this guy is gonna like it up here. Up next we have this beautiful pink branching Cephastria. You guys, this thing is so, so pink under a certain light. So let's get this guy glued and inside. We're going in with that pink branching Cephastia. I think we're just gonna, we're not like 100% sure we're gonna leave these corals here forever, but uh, just to get them started inside of the tank, we've got our little pink branching Cephastia right there, chilling next to that uh, Monopora. Goodness gracious, I cannot wait to see this thing filled. Next up, we've got this beautiful frag of Oregon Blue Tort. Let's get this guy glued. And you already know, into the tank. So here we're going in with that Oregon Blue Tort. Pop that guy right here at the edge of this rock. They kind of like medium to medium flow. Medium light, medium flow. That's what I love about Top Shelf, is they say that on the website when you look these little frags up. So before you buy any kind of know what to do. This guy right here is one of my favorites. This is the Daydream Acropora. I'm gonna get this one glued up. Amazing colors on this frag. The colors under the light, you guys. It seriously is something just insane. That is the Daydream Acropora, right next to our organ tort. Oh, so beautiful. So far we've put in four of the newer frags inside of the big tank and it already looks completely different. It already looks like there's so much more life inside of the tank. I cannot wait to get the rest of these guys out of the bags and into the tank. I don't know if this is boring for you guys to just go one by one by one by one. So, I mean, leave some feedback down below if you guys for next, for sure we're gonna have another coral shopping spree. Uh, for next one, you tell me maybe just do it all and then show us everything inside of the tank instead of doing one by one by one. But I figured it makes you guys feel like you're there with me doing these little corals, gluing the corals and getting everybody inside of their new home. So let me know. But anyways, let's move on to this bubblegum digitata, which I already showed you guys. We have a smaller frag of that right there from Tommy. This is a very large frag. Uh, it's like probably about this big. So cannot wait to get that guy in here. Unfortunately, he fell off his plug. So we're just gonna glue him onto the rock, just himself, no plug. Here we are with that nice piece of bubblegum digitata. It's kind of a, Maybe we'll put this guy like right over here. Stick him off at the edge of this rock. Even maybe in here would be cool. Let's see if this is gonna stay. If this one stays, this is gonna be an epic spot. Come on. Come on. Are we staying or what? Let's move it into maybe this little hole. Perfect. Literally perfect, everybody. Now we've got a nice digitata hanging out of that little hole right there. Super, super cool. We've got our daydream. We've got our pink branching Cephastria. We've got our organ tort. We've got our double trouble. We've got one, two, three, four, five bags left. We ended up moving the bubblegum digitata just to right there for right now. We don't want to go in with anything too high because these corals are in a new system. We don't want to give them like any stress basically like this thing is completely opened up now all the polyps are out looking amazing now we are moving on to our favorite one of our favorites is actually called this fuzz here we are my favorite frag of the day this is the tsa fuzz 
Actually, it's an, it's really a nice, nice piece of coral, you guys. Now this guy requires high light and a very high flow. So, plop them right on top, right next to that, I wanna say that's the daydream. The true colors on this rainbow sherbet acropora, let me tell you guys, is actually insane. I need to get a lens for you guys. That's a cool little spot I think for him. If he wants to stick. Anyways, you guys, that is the Rainbow Sherbert. Seriously, the craziest colored Acropora I think I've ever seen. Going in with the next frag, we got a Cherry Bomb Acropora right here. This is a grail. This thing is going to be amazing looking when it grows. It's gonna grow some long furry hairs just like the fuzz. Super cool little frag. We're gonna get this guy glued up. It's really coming together though. Looks still like we got nothing in the tank, but I promise you guys, we've got a whole lot of coral. We are now down to our last two frags, everybody. In the meantime, uh, I, I went ahead and I grabbed the lepto from that tank and the little Laffy Taffy Gonopora. Um, I put them down here on this little rock, this little island together, because these are very aggressive stinging corals, so eventually these are going to need their own little rock. Well, I don't know so much about the lepto, but I know the Laffy Taffy. I heard he's a little bit of a bully under underwater, so... The tank is looking alive though, holy cow. You guys can't even see because I need this dang lens. Here is just another amazing frag, you guys. A nice chunky frag, actually. We've got the UC Dippin' Dots. I mean, it's like green, purple, red. The craziest little colors going on in this frag right here. Cannot wait for all these things to start growing though. Let's get this guy glued. This is where we're gonna put that Dippin' Dots. Hold it here for a couple minutes, hopefully it stays. Awesome, awesome frag though. This one is one of my favorites for sure. I mean, all of them are just so amazing. And there is the Dippin' Dots right there. Oh, it doesn't wanna focus, but there is the Dippin' Dots right there. Studly piece of coral right there. Next to it, we got the Cherry Bomb. We've got the Fuzz. We've got the PC rainbow move from the 20 gallon all the way in the back. We've got our little bubblegum digitata right there. We've got our double trouble stylophora. We've got our Laffy Taffy Ganiapora. We've got the lunar landing lepto. Right here is that rainbow sherbet. Organ blue. Another really nice piece of bubblegum digitata. Pink branching cephastria. We have a mystic sunset. I think, or a Mystique Monopora. <laughs> Lastly, we have a huge frag of this green bird's nest, you guys. Look at that. A nice, big, chunky frag. So I'm gonna get this little thing out of the container and I'll be putting him on in. So let's get this thing glued up and inside of the tank. Last but not least, green bird's nest. Huge frag. Everything is officially inside of the fish tank. Let me tell you guys, it looks like nothing without the orange lens, but to my own eyes, the fish tank is looking spectacular. So much more life, so much more color. It really is amazing. We moved our little rainbow chalice in, we moved the lepto in, we also moved the Laffy Taffy over. This is our last frag that we put in was that big old green's bird's nest. You guys, this is the 90. Now the only thing we gotta do is wait for those suckers to grow. Start branching out some more branches off those Acroporas. Wait for that chalice to completely take over that little rock right there. It's going to be absolutely amazing, everybody. So, if you guys want to see how all these corals start to grow, make sure you guys smash that subscribe button and stay in tune whenever I drop a video. I'm sure I'll be giving you guys a lot of updates on this little 90-gallon series. Everything is amazing. You guys cannot thank Top Shelf Aquatics enough. Thank you, Jed. That is it. We got... All of our corals in. 10 brand new corals inside of the 90 gallon tank. Amazing. Literally, I cannot stop saying that because truthfully, it is amazing. I am so excited. It is like Christmas, but in September. So with that being said, you guys, that'll wrap it up for today's video. So make sure you guys smash that like button, smash those notification bells so you guys are in tune whenever I do get some more corals for the 90 gallon. 
And with that being said, you guys, I will see you on next week's episode. Peace out.